With a quarter of a million dollars of tools, that is still not the most important thing in a man cave. The most important thing in a man cave is a man's couch. Many of you will remember when we found a storage unit in Pennsylvania filled with tools. I saw two toolboxes. These are nice. Now, two toolboxes, that's $3,000. If there's no tools in it, George, do the honors. Pull one of these. Pull one of these. Oh no! Oh! 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 <laughs> Are you serious? Maybe the key's in that lockbox. You know what that means? What? There's probably tools in here. Let's check the next one. Let's check the next one. Look, here's another one. Here's another one. Come on back, Christian. Come on all back. Right, all right. Look Let's at this. See if this, one this is another fifteen hundred dollar oh, chest. Oh, this one's locked too. Oh my goodness, George! <laughs> look at all of this. Look. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, George! 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 George, George. George! Oh my god! Oh my god! That thing is huge! Are you serious? Oh! What? Oh my god! Oh, you could safe crack that guy! Oh my goodness! Look at all, look at all the. Look at this! The look, at this. Yes, look, look at this! Look at the die Look at this! All the, oh! Oh! Nice. Whoa! Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Calm. I just gotta breathe. Holy look at this! Look at this! Boxes! Boxes are numbered, labeled. Oh my dog! Look at this! Come here! Come here! <laughs> I don't know if I can fit You couldn't that see any of this. Look at this. Oh. Here is another craftsman tool. This one's filled with tools. Oh wow. Christian, look, look, look. <laughs> filled with tools. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll get to that. Look, George, here's another. Another. Oh! oh Camera back there. Show me what else is back there. Come on, Christian. Show me what else is back there. There's another toolbox. Full toolbox, toolbox. set. There's two of them side by side, isn't there? Yep. Oh my goodness. There is $10,000. Look, 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 look right here. There's two craftsman uprights right here. This is insane. I don't know what that is. There's $10,000 just in tool chest. Just in tool chest. Awesome. Tools upon tools upon tools upon tools. Oh, we emptied some of this out already. I mean, this is just wild tools that we will never ever use. So before we head back to Otter Creek, Florida, we gotta figure out which tools are going to Christian and Patience to sell on eBay this winter and what we're gonna actually take with us to Otter Creek as well. We still have toolboxes over here, but most importantly, George, we bought this at an auction as well. Our first vault. Oh, our first vault auction, and I know the perfect spot for it. Look, it's got cords in it. It's got cords, I think it's a power lift chair, like dual recliner. Looks like a gray slate leather. This would look good in my garage. It would look good anywhere. In your heat garage? Mm-hmm. Now 95. 85, 95, 95, 95, all in all done. 85, 95, all in all done. Better than that. Sold it. 85. Man, now you got somewhere to sit. Well, you didn't want a cow. Now I do. I <laughs> After you've seen it, I'm going to sit here while I watch George load all this stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> Previous owners left this tool cabinet behind. Really nice one. It's cobalt. Came from Lowe's. And it's up on this stand here. I'm guessing... It's to keep your car from rolling in through the walls. That's what it is? Yeah. Okay, let's see. So, Because what I want to do, I want to move this and I want to move the couch over to here. Okay. Now, I talked to Christian... We got this in a unit as well, this big screen TV. I talked to Christian about actually mounting this up there in that area. You see over there? Mm -hmm. But now I'm thinking it actually may be better right here in this area. Because if the couch is here, I could just swing the couch out. Want to see what's in the cabinet? Yes. All right, before we do, I've got one decorating thing that I think we need to do. We found this in the last unit, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Because you said that family is made up of odd pieces that fit together. Yeah. What's more odd than Otter Creek? Mm, pretty odd. And we fit in perfectly. So I thought, should this go to Otter Creek or can I hang it up right? Boom. It there. might be more appropriate for Otter Creek. Well, for the time being, I'm going to bam right there, okay? Okay. All right, so this is obviously going to have to move if we're going to get the couch over here. What in the world have we been putting in here? I know. I've stuck some cleaning supplies in here because we need it. Keep in mind, everything we own is secondhand. 
most of probably 99% of this stuff is from storage units. I know Let's I put the bird I put the bird feed down there so the squirrels and chipmunks don't get to it. This is when mice. we bought the Walmart the Walmart stuff, the Walmart racking. This is all personal safety supplies from Walmart. This is flowers and seeds that we still have never planted yet. One some day, of, right? Some of those are bought, some are found in a storage unit. Who bought them? <clears throat> you did. I didn't buy any of those. Those are all from storage units. The ones I bought are out at the... Whoa! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We can't show that. We can't show that. Oh, you know what I do with this? This I duct taped to the toilet seat. George sat down, scared the poop right out of her. <laughs> she took... She, well, let's just... We'll keep it at that. We'll keep it at that. This is cleaning supplies. That's for when our windows need washed. Okay, this must be... This is all for bonfire supplies. We have not had a single bonfire this year. And we won't this year. And we spent all the money to run electric down there. Let's go take a look. Power. Look at that right there. We got power down here at the creek. Remember when I spent an entire day to build this uh, turtle for you? The turtle patio. What do you think? You love turtles. We all love turtles. Who doesn't love a good turtle? Christian. Let's do a zebra next. A, how a, do that? a zebra or a giraffe. We love zebras. Look at that. That's one hails of a turtle. Turtles are out. I'm going to pull it all up and I'm going to make a mole. Now, let's look at the rest of the electric. This is the bonfire area that George and I created with Christian and Patience. And it wasn't quite complete yet. It needed electric because what we're going to do, as you see, the pole is still is incomplete here, even though we have power here, we'll be able to string up LED lights over the whole bonfire pit area. Unfortunately, not a single fire yet this summer, and we won't have time for one either, but we are prepped for next year because we got power literally everywhere. Here's some of the LED lights that are gonna be stranded up. And guess where we found them all? Yep, storage units. Now, let's see if we can get this chest moved. You know what, George? What? This isn't the only one we have, though. Even though we have some supplies in here, they actually left another one. Do you wanna go see that before we move this? Sure. The basement, the cellar. Well, there literally is a wine cellar. Like, seriously. They took their wine connoisseuring very, very seriously. And, we just do nothing with it. <laughs> it just gets sits. stored in here. So here's another Husky cabinet right here. Not cheap. And it's up on a stand as well. It looks like painting supplies, spare light bulbs, paper towels. I kept telling Christian, I'm like, man, we have to move this. We got to put it somewhere. Oh, that's for our lights. This looks like extra household things. The thermostat, remember we had a thermostat go on fire the first summer? Mm -hmm. I was in Otter Creek and you were here. There's a replacement thermostat potentially right there. So at some point, we're gonna move this one as well. Or, George, what do you think? Do we move the other one down here with it? No. I think the only way to actually move this without breaking the legs, number one, we have to empty it, which neither you or I wanna do right now, or, we have to move this entire wood base. Look at this, there's your hiking sticks. Do you still want this one? Which one do you want? Mm, I do like both of them. Did we find this one here on the property? I think your brother put this one here on the property. Oh, I think okay. this one was from a storage unit. Yeah, that was definitely from a storage unit. Okay, well, I'll set them aside. You can figure that out later. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I can actually move this thing. Do you think? Okay, I'm moving the legs, but I want to move this base. I need a tool. All right, let's see if I can get it to move. I got a pry bar. Because Lord oh, knows, it's I got moving. tools in here. I okay. see it moving. All right, it is moving. Oh! Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> ah, don't let it fall on me. Ah! Okay. All right. I'm actually getting it to move now. Here we go. Ah! Oh, it's moving. Look at you go. Oh my goodness. It's, oh, my back. <laughs> I got a little impatient, and as you can see, the legs are bending. So I got to bend it back. I got it, I got it up on a dolly right now because I am a bit impatient. I mean, there's a lot of work to do, hopefully. Oh, man. We don't want that to fall. Now, the second thing is, is once I actually get it moved, where do I move it to? 
George says she doesn't want it in the basement. Okay. All right. This is not quite working as anticipated. All right, here we go. And am I moving? I'm yeah. moving. Look at this. I'm actually moving. I just don't know. Careful of the TV. Where where am I taking it to? I don't know. Where I literally have no idea where this thing is going. This is an old shelf that I got on clearance at Lowe's. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Did you see that, baby? Oh, yeah. Did you see that? Who's got the muscles? I don't know how you Jermaine did that. got the muscles or what? I don't know how you did you that. You think I'm going to be able to pick this thing up? Yeah, that should oh, be light. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That thing should be light. <laughs> Brand new levels crashing everywhere. Again, I think this was maybe just in case there was flooding to keep things off the ground. Yeah. But uh, I don't plan on putting the couch on this. I think I paid $75 for this couch at the vault auction because when I saw it, I'm about to show you exactly why I paid. I was like, oh man, this thing would be perfect for the garage. The reason? Power. Look at this right here. We got a power cord and you see right there, we got an outlet. Uh-huh. All right, let's um, get the power cord in its appropriate position. All right, George, we have not run a test on this yet. We don't even know if it works. I've never had a power couch before. Uh, oh, this was uh, Gary Allen screwing us out of mm -hmm. what? HTF auction house. Yep, HTF. Yep, there it is. Oh, let's take this. Um, we'll take this to. We'll take this to Florida because this could be a decoration. Okay. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to get it repaired, but it can definitely be a decoration. And this. Well, that's gonna be for hanging the TV. And this, I got a plan for that. All right, but first, let's see if this works. George, why would you need power for a couch? Uh, the only powered couches that I know of are either recline or for USBs. <gasps> oh, it's working. Is it it's massaging working. your back? There is something in the back for sure. Okay, that's one button. Look, there's a bunch of buttons over here. And we can charge our phones. We can work on YouTube. Let's see what this does. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, yes. His and hers. So it works. Are you sure you don't want this in your she shed? I'm positive. Okay, there's another button. Let's see what it does. I'm not sure what it does. Oh, it's for the back as well. It is. It's for the back as well. So we have a couch now that will take care of your back, charge your phone, and let you recline. I have a feeling you're going to be in my he shed more than I'll ever be in your she shed. You mean he garage? You claiming that side next to the door, closest to the snacks? It's kind of close to the wall. I don't know if I'll be able to recline. Well, let's find out. Here we go. She's pressing the buttons. That one's for your back. You got to go. That oh. one's for your back. Or is that recline? It's ballooning in the back of That's the, the back. Of the bottom back. button. The bottom button is for recline. Oh, yeah. There she goes. Yeah, that's reclining just fine, babe. We got plenty of room. Oh, wow. This is okay. like going to the movies. Oh, if we don't have room, it's going to make room. This is like going to the movie theaters where the seats recline. I do think the TV goes there. Because we could both be hanging out here and watching the TV right up there on the wall. Now, a lot of people are going, Jeremy, do you really need a reclining couch in your garage? And the answer is yes. Believe it or not, there was a time when the garage was pretty clean. Christian and Patience actually organized everything, but as we buy more and more storage units, more and more stuff shows up. These shelves we originally brought, we wrapped them with saran wrap so everything stayed in, but we're bursting at the seams. And I want to get away from the shelf system and I want to get into, um, hold a second. Crap. Let's see, look, at this is all from storage units. Storage, hey, anybody need a hand? Because I got one for you. That's all. Storage units, like this, most of the house, more saran wrap, we might need that for wrapping. Most of the house, more saran wrap, look at that, is, is storage unit stuff. Even this, this is all storage units. And we process so much, it's kind of hard sometimes to figure out everything we have. All right, George, chill there, because I think what we're gonna do, how do I look on space there? I hit something? Uh, maybe one of the brakes is on the wheels. The brake is on? I think so. Where? Because there's nothing blocking it. How can there be a brake on? There's no brakes on these wheels. Uh, Definitely no brakes. 
So let's see what's happening here. All right, it got over. No, it's on it again. There's something going on. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Look, right here. What was it? It was, I don't know. You tell me. Whatever it was, it crushed up the paint and the cement. Oh. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is put this box where those shelves are. Now, we're going to have a little problem with that because we're not going to use all this stuff. Okay, look at this. Brand new welding magnets. All right, put a piece of steel there, piece of piece of steel there. You could weld the joints. All of this. Brand new. Best George and I can figure. Former owner finds out that his wife is cheating. And then the employees actually write the former owner with pictures of her cheating with her restaurant employed boss. And he, well, from what we figure, he goes on a spending spree of all the money so she can't get any in the divorce. He buys full cabinets stacked. I mean, stacked with brand new. Here's, oh my goodness. There's an angle grinder right there. Here's a grinder, brand new. Here is a, there's a cutter, brand new steel cutter right there. We've got brand new pneumatic tools. Nobody's ever used this stuff. He went and literally had, oh my goodness, an empty drawer. Look at that. Everything stacked and packed. Nuts and bolts there. Every kind of hammer you could possibly use, never once used. Now, George and I are never gonna use these either, so what we have to determine is what we are gonna use and what Christian and Patience are gonna put on eBay. All these ball peen hammers, look, they've been in there so long, they're even sticking. We're never gonna use these ball peen hammers. It's just not gonna happen. What do we got up here? Drill bits, lots and lots of brand new drill bits. See that there? Mm -hmm. Okay, we got another drill bit index right there, brand new. We've got more right here, brand new. We're just, there's no way in the world we could use all of this. Oh, I just opened that one. Right here, we got rotor brooch, sheet metal hole cutting kit. There's another one right there, all brand new. It's all brand new, it's never been used. But like there's, there's easily, we estimate a quarter of a million dollars in tools that we found in this unit. That's not counting all the die cast cars that you guys and the rest of the world have been buying nonstop. All the other collectibles. The money from the safe. That was incredible. That was fun. Oh, that was so much fun. This was such a good unit. This unit. Oh my goodness, an empty drawer. I it can't believe it. It was worth the drive. Oh, it was well worth the and drive. And it was a heavy load. That was probably the heaviest and the unit scariest. we've ever hauled. And we had to get, look at these. All these brand new tin snips. All brand new. Probably lefties, righties. I'm a guessing left, lefties and righties. Yep, lefties and righties, all brand. Look at this. Lefties and righties, brand new. It's like, this is. You think the guy was ambidextrian? I think, I think he definitely was working on vehicles. Yes. And so a lot of these are vehicle tools. And, but I don't think any of these tools ever got used because I think he was hiding the money. Mm. I think he, that's. That's my best guess, my best estimate. But a lot of this stuff, George and I are never gonna use. Sandpaper, look, I've never seen anybody put sandpaper in a file. very organized. But this is organized By based on grit. grit, 100, 150, 220, in a file even. That's actually a good Craftsman, idea. <laughs> Craftsman put it out, I've never seen it before. Like this is, it's just wild to me. It, it's literally, it's wild to me. But, most of this stuff, oh my goodness. I mean, how many hundreds of dollars are we looking at just right here, if not a thousand, just in the wheels? And then we already looked at that. So the goal, George, is what we have to do. We're gonna take this cabinet here. I'll push it back a little bit over a rock or whatever we're on. I wanna move these shelves out, okay. move this cabinet in. Then we gotta clear the cabinet, decide what gets sold on eBay, what stays here at Hale's headquarters, and then what goes to Otter Creek? I have my own welder, didn't even know it. I think I remember we bought this from an Akron unit. We found, that's when we found the uh, secret pop cans that had money in it. You remember that? I do remember this was from the same unit that with was... your uh, backpack leaf blower. Oh yeah, the leaf blower. Let's go look at those uh, secret cans real quick. Sitting right next to the 80s action figures, right next to one of the many candy bowls.
Right next to all the gift cards we still have to call and check. Right next to... I've been on a bit of a toy buying spree, huh? You I can't have. believe this. I got these for a buck fifty at Walmart. They're, uh, they're on... These are Disney uh, Dorables. Buck fifty a piece. They're like charms, like back in the 80s. And I got two cases of them. And there was another dude there, and I just grabbed him. And the dude's like, oh, man. I'm like, oh. I was like, I just left to get a cart two seconds earlier, and you could have got them. And he's like, I got two girls. I was like, well, how many did you want? I'm buying them all. And he went, I just want two. I'm like, take as many as you want, dude. I was like, I'll just take this one, and then you can have all of this one. He's like, no, I just want the two for my girls. And then we started talking about 80s toys and slip and slides. And then guess what we found? Slip and slide. There was slip and slide. So check this out. On clearance, right? On clearance for 10 bucks. He's like, dude, me and the girls are slip and sliding tonight. Old Dr. Pepper right there. It's actually a secret, a secret little stash. I have to glue the top back on, but then you would just screw the top on and off. It's a secret stash and it's weighted. You can see it's weighted inside to feel like it's actually a full can. And then this one is a Yeti, which is exact same thing going on here okay it's a can, can of, worms, of worms and boom then you'd put your secret stash in there again weighted to make it feel like this is full uh-huh and we found this garbage can too which is pretty good you know why why i collect garbage pail kids but we also had three garbage cans stolen from us here at Hales headquarters <laughs> this is no small feat i've got to move the entire shelf i don't want to un do the entire shelf. I mean, I got tons of drill bits. This is all one, two, three. These are all from storage units. All of it. And I don't want to take the shelves out. What George and I are doing is, if you look over here, we're putting everything in the middle. So here's the big cobalt. So you got to see a giant cobalt and a giant husky. Who do you think's the cobalt? Here, I'll give you a clue. Uh, maybe me? Who do I'm you definitely not a husky. Who do you think's the husky? You. Definitely you. I don't know why she said that. But we're trying to put all the boxes on the outside. If we put everything that needs to be sorted on the inside, then we can pick it from the middle and put it away in the boxes, which will make it a whole lot easier. And I don't want to have to take all this stuff out. See, look, there's a ton of stuff in here. Yeah, the yeah. kids spent a long time organizing it. They did, and then it got out of complete and total control. And we're gonna reorganize into all of these boxes. Shelf number two looks like hardware, sealants. Look, look at these little mini WD-40s. Aww, wow. I've never seen them so little and cute. It's a cute. little bit of plumbing. One of the things that I did is I had the kids actually do like plumbing, electrical, and they're mixed. And they, they didn't quite know exactly what was what, which is not a problem. We're going to figure it out one way or another. Yeah. We're getting there. One shelf at a time. We are going to get there. Zip ties. Look at that. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Kinds of colors and sizes. Broke it. Oh, man. That what was, was my 30-meter fiber measuring tape. I just broke it. Uh-oh. That's garbage now. Okay. Captain Fumble Nuts strikes well, again. It's it's one of our hundreds of measuring tapes. I don't <laughs> we'll think we'll find another one. I don't think we're gonna be today. hurting. We have plenty of zip ties for life. I think we'll we'll uh, we'll survive a zombie apocalypse just with zip ties and duct tape. Uh -huh. There's an old planer. Old planers are worth quite a bit of money, believe it or not. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Come on over here. So you see this here? This is a cut for this GFI. Now oh. this GFI has a habit of going off a lot and I don't want it to go off anymore. We're gonna change it out. We're gonna, we're gonna upgrade it a little bit. That's what this little box is for. Instead of the GFI, we're going with some of my other favorite letters. You wanna guess what they are, George? Uh, J and G? Nope, USB. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna put in the USB in there instead, except I need a flathead screwdriver. <laughs> And this is the problem with owning so many tools that you don't know where they are. Look, just look behind George. This I is actually just, have a couple. This is crazy. I have some in my she okay, shed. Okay, I found one. I found one. I think this might work. Okay. <laughs> it's a little but this is, overkill. This is the craziness. Like, I don't even know. That's not going to do it. All brand new. Not going to do it. All brand new. All brand new. All brand new pneumatic tools. 
I don't even know. I think we already, we looked through this, right? Yeah, this was the welding one. There was no screwdrivers in here, was there? All right, here's a snap-on right here. Uh, now, this one was definitely used. All the tools in here were used. Yes. Everything else. All right, here we go, here we go. Wait, hold a second. All right, there we go. Oh, finally, found a tool I need. I had to give up the USB idea, but that's okay. This will be covered anyway. And you can see why I had to give up the USB idea. The USB receptacle doesn't have enough areas to actually put in all of our wires. Well, electrical is pretty easy. Just match it up and you're good to go. Screw it in. By the way, George, hmm. you should tell your dad I'm an electrician. Electrician? I thought you wanted to be fun employed. I'm a fun employed electrician. Time to test her out. Let's put the power back on. Okay. Plug her in and we're good to go. I think we can put two Craftsman cabinets in here. Two or three. You're gonna have to guide me. All right. I've got- Keep coming. Huge garage. Keep coming. Huge garage. Not easy <laughs> to actually get everything that we wanted. Well, Man, these were wider than I than I thought. Well, you know what? So you yeah. said that when you met me too. Yeah. So. <laughs> and now you go, yeah, I like a dad bod. Okay. I don't want to hit. Man, look at all the drawers are opening for us. I didn't. They lie. are opening. Okay. I don't want to hit the new couch either. Let me. This was my drawers are out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Okay. Let me uh, let me lock those in. All right, apparently I can't even lock it in place right now. That's only for the top. All right, here we go. Tell me when I'm close. Okay, keep going. Keep going, slow, go slow. Okay, you I have about, I don't, know how, I don't know how far you wanna be away from the couch, but you're about a foot. Okay, that's good right there. All my drawers are open again? I think. So you, we had to pick the locks to get in, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know what? We're going to change out everything anyway. I think we can get a little closer, don't you? Okay. Okay. Just... Oh. Is that too close? That's good right there. Because this could be the stand if you got a drink. Uh -huh. you put it right there, even though we got cup holders. Now, here's the cool thing about these cabinets. We want the power outlet right there mm -hmm. because we have power in the cabinets. So, we can actually plug things in. So, we'll have one cabinet right here. So let's go ahead. We'll put that cabinet in there and okay. I'll show you, I'll show you what I'm talking about with plugging things in because this cabinet's going in next. Uh -huh. Here, let me just move it out of the way while I show you. Come on this way. Okay. All right. All right. We're starting to look like a pretty cool garage. So right here, you see, I have my drill charger plugged in right there. Power button on off. I also have USB. We have our O-lights. I have three O-lights out here right now. So they're charging with the USB. So we have this in all the cabinets. This cabinet is going next to the cabinet we just put there. Let's peek and see what's in here. Okay. What do you think this is for? So some other type of magnet to, oh, maybe to hold. Hold cords? Yeah. Like all of these extension cords. Mm -hmm. Like if there's one thing we ha get plenty of in storage units, it's extension cords. No, we don't scrap and we donate a lot to thrift stores. Let's see what we have in here. All brand new wrenches. Look at this. I just, it blows my mind. <laughs> it blows my mind. Oh my goodness. You know how much one of these brand new it is? I don't know how much they are. Well, we're going to end up probably selling them because there's no way I'm going to use one that big. Like, who's going to use one this big? You got to be working on Mack trucks, which you and I typically aren't. The only thing we'd use this on is potentially tractor. And even then, we have some other tools that would help us out there. All these wrenches. Look at this. Look at this. This is just... Mind blowing! Woo! Okay, we found the sockets. We haven't needed them yet, but we did find the sockets. And George, if my memory serves me correctly, they only get bigger and bigger and bigger. Look at that ratchet. I only know I only know a couple people that are bigger ratchet than that. All right, let's, let's go down a little bit. Holy cow! Oh wow! Wow! If you live near Hale's headquarters and you need a socket, there's a good chance I might have it. So don't hesitate to ask. Let's see what we have. Oh, we already looked at those more wrenches. OK, 
Okay, more wrenches. More wrenches. What do you think we have here? More wrenches. I think this is the wrench cabinet. All sockets right there. This is gonna be good. Because every time I need a socket, I cannot find my socket. Except, look, look, I always, this is my original Craftsman set right here. And so, most of the time I couldn't even get to that because it was buried. But now, I have every single socket made in the world. Every ratchet, I can't even believe there's an empty drawer. Holy cow! Wow. Is that not the biggest socket you have ever seen in your life? That is a four and three eighths right there. It's huge. That in itself is a hundred bucks, okay? So, we're probably selling these on eBay. I just can't foresee us ever needing them. We got tons of Husky matting. See, we believe he actually paid somebody to set these all up for him. Mm -hmm. He just went, here's the money, set it all up. Uh-oh. Oh, I mean, if he, was, to... if he was on a shopping spree, why not? So, this one, we gotta pick the lock again. Uh, that one's open. That one's opening. We gotta pick the lock. The other ones aren't quite opening yet, but I think we can still get it into place. Okay. And then, what do we have here? Is that a trickle charger? Wireless automotive diagnostic tool. That's from a storage unit. So that's kind of cool. This is for all the coyotes here at Hales headquarters. Quick traps. Uh, there was a coyote doing a little business last night. This one's gonna be harder to get in there. I'm not, I don't have as much space to actually, oh man, don't start opening. Okay. I don't, that's a heavy one. Oof. Is I, it gonna cover the panel up? Uh, looks like it's just gonna be on the edge of the panel. Why, what, are you, what are you thinking? What do you think, or can you take this part of the tool chest and flip flop it and put it on the end? That way you have access to the panel? Whoa! Oh, it just slides right out. Okay, well, so you want me to take this, put it on this side, Yes. and then slide it over to here. Yeah. Well, I think number one, that's gonna make it a little bit easier to get this in. Mm -hmm. I guess, whoa, come on, please don't, babe, kick those all in. If this, it could all flip over on me and okay. we don't have locks to lock them right now. We, uh, we didn't have the keys. So we actually, we broke in. Christian did. Christian, who can learn anything in a matter of 30 <laughs> seconds. All right, so you want it to line up right here. Yeah. And then, Flip this over there. Yeah, and then put that guy. And then that way we have access to this here. You got it. Let's give it a try. Should just take a screwdriver. This is what you want. You want clearance here. Yep. So we would have clearance there. I should be able to unscrew this. Okay. Unscrew this. Flip it over here. Uh-huh. You know where any screwdrivers are? <laughs> Did we see any in here? No, this was all sockets. Let's check over here again in the snap-on tool chest. This is the one that he was actually using. No, that's all pneumatics and boom! All right, we'll go with a little stubby. I ain't afraid of a little stubby, are you? Uh-uh, a little stubby's perfect. Got a problem, George. What's the problem? Okay, I got this ready to hook up over here and hang, mm -hmm. except little stubby is the standard Phillips. Look at this, close up. That is a star security bit. You want to take a guess where there's a star <laughs> security bit in here? It's going to take me five hours. I'm sure I have 50 of them. I just don't know where. I found it. Okay. Buried in the depths of the garage. Oh, it's even labeled? This is a security bit set that I bought when I was really doing a lot of work on video game cartridges. Uh -huh. So you needed certain security bits to actually get into the cartridges. Let's see, it's got a hole in it, maybe. Let's see if it's this one. And too small, too small, okay. These are not in order. Is that spinning? Let's check again. No, too small again, I think. What about this one? Let's try this, it's got a hole in it. Too big, oh my goodness, this is feeling <laughs> like Goldilocks right now. There's gotta be. You know what I need right now? I need a nice little break on my couch. I got it, George. I got it. It just came to me like a voice out of the air. You know why? Why? Because you're the one that said it. This is what we do. We can't find it. 
So we wait until we find the right bit, and all we need to do, Georgia's like, <laughs> why don't you just slide it over there? We'll just slide it over until we can find the right tool. Okay. Let me move this stuff over. All right, let's not lose the little nubby. No, and don't do that. We don't, don't want to lose little nubby. That would be bad. That would be bad. Georgia's like, just let it sit on the floor. I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, yeah, just just set it right in there beside it. Then it can hang later <laughs> once you find the right fit. Huh. Believe it or not. Would you look at that? That kind of makes sense. This is the shop desk area. You know, you got the hard tabletop there to work on. Oh, by the way, this is our chainsaw sharpener. We definitely, we need to bring this with us. That's a game changer, yeah, that, isn't it? That is a game changer. We have to bring that with us to Florida for sure. Or just buy one down there. Okay, we could do that. We could... Um, so you're not hauling it back and How about we don't buy one? How about we find one in a storage unit? I don't even know why we have a fan there, just in case. We got a generator down here. Not that we would ever use it. And we probably should fire it up and actually see if it's still running or not. Mm -hmm. We've got all kinds of air compressors, which we have one already here. Here, come on over here. Because I already got my air compressor all set up where I want it. I wanted it in this front corner so I could actually get access to it at any time with all the pneumatic tools and everything. And I just pull it right out. Man, we got a pile of boxes to clean up. Holy cow. We look at all for, these other we, tool chests. We need it for moving. Okay, all right, so we're gonna put tools in it. So mm -hmm. I kind of feel like this is coming along. It is. This isn't, it's, it's not gonna... as bad as it was. <laughs> I mean, I know it's gonna get there. It's, it's a little crowded in here, but like I said, I don't bring my, I don't park my car in here, neither do you, okay. so. Here's what I think we do next. We clean off the shop table. Actually, we never looked in this. Maybe we did, but. Okay, we gotta clean that out. This was put in here by original owners. Ooh, some kind of Filter. filters. Black and Decker Dust Master Buster, okay. So filters, we'll change what's in there. What do we got down here? We got 800, rust and corrosion. We got all of our aerosols, holy penalube, moly penalube, oh! We love moles, we never have enough moles. <laughs> moly penalube and dry moly lube. Okay. Holy moly for the lube. We love you moles. Generators, if ever, are rarely used. And we pulled out the Generac right there. Believe it or not, I actually got that for 50 bucks. That was on clearance at Lowe's. And so it's it's been good for me. I usually start it up once a year and it always starts up I put fuel stabilizer in there. This shop vac I got for from Lowe's as well for 25 bucks. It was like one of those Black Friday deals. Mm -hmm. So we've had the generator under here. I'm gonna put the shop vac under there. Uh oh, it's falling to pieces. And the reason is we rarely ever use a generator. We need the shop vac all the time. I just used it to get all the bugs off of the bench. Okay, now that's there. See this over here? Mm -hmm. I've got the Porter Cable uh, air compressor. I got all these hoses. This, I'm gonna say, goes for the schoolhouse at, in Otter Creek. We already have a Porter Cable pancake. Uh, uh, a pancake compressor. Whoa, Whoa. <laughs> compressor down there. And we can leave that at the ranch. We can take that and put it at the schoolhouse. Mm -hmm. And that way, we don't have to screw around. And this is just a portable tank. If I, uh, George gets a flat on the road and I go, oh, don't worry, I'll be there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna tuck the generator under here. Okay. Right under there. Are you gonna fire it up before you put it under there? You want me to try right now? I thought you said you were gonna fire it up. Well, I didn't want to because we're a little busy trying to get a yeah, I'm not worried. No, I'm not going to fire. Okay, fine. I will. I don't even remember how. Let's see. There's a switch right here on. And if I remember, there's a button. No, I got a pull start on this. All right. And fuel is... Should be good. I don't know. Let's, let's try. Let's see what happens. You know what? This feels like this is better for another time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How about I work and you try and fire it up?
We found this Ryobi grinder in one of the last units and it's a keeper. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set it up right for over here. Cause I'm kind of crammed already based on where the vice is on the bench. But I think I can set this up no problem over there. And then I can set this up, just leave it there. Like George said, we'll just get another one. Then I still have a little bit of area here to work. Mm -hmm. But the other thing I can do, for example, if we look at the snap on, really this is workbench area. So I have plans of moving this out right in the middle here. It's kind of like an island in a kitchen. It'll make sense once I get there, but I'll have a workbench island right here too. So there'll be a path in here, workbench island, and then if I need to get to any of the tools over here, with one of the most incredible views. Yeah, I mean, it is a pretty awesome view. Yeah, you know, I, I might work over here more than anywhere else. How about I just show you what I mean? Because I need to get over here anyway, because we're gonna move all of those shelves. So this crass, or no, this is Snap-on, is gonna move right out here as an island in front of the craftsman's but this is a two-car attached garage and i think this is plenty of space right here like if i put it right here we could still get two cars in here i have plenty of space to work here i've got bench space here and now i have bench space here getting a tool from here and i'll set it all up where it's efficient where i can actually get my tools work on bench space work on bench space not to mention I have the world's most incredible bench space over here. We use this quite a bit. And I uh, know I use this all the time. And this one even has that bench that we found in a storage unit. Next, I want to move all these shelves away from the walls. They're filled with power tools from, there's a portable uh, table saw. Here's my miter saw. This one will stay here. We already found one that's going to go to the ranch. I got a lot of tools here. And what I want to do is move the rest of the Craftsman tool benches against the wall. Then we'll decide where all the tools go. Look down there. I just found a bench grinder. I hadn't hooked it up yet. <laughs> Probably because I can't get to anything. So my goal is without moving all this stuff off the shelves. Oh, these are attached. I think they're Oh, attached. that's right, we attached them. Well, it wasn't even us, it was Christian and Patience. Oh man, one way or another, I gotta figure out how to move these. Oh, with the old drive method, George. That's probably best. That way, really? when it's what if, tilted. What if these saws fall down on my head? Just take it easy. What if a easy saw on the blade falls it. straight down on my head? I, I feel so, if you would have put it on a dolly, something would have fell. probably fell. a sawzall. Look, right behind you. Look, this is my sawzall. And then I think, like, there's brand new. I think, look, there's a brand new sawzall right there. Mm -hmm. just, oh, man, there's brand new stuff falling everywhere. everywhere. Just like that! Yeah, use the right. leg power. They're over there. They're over there. Oh man, look at this. I got saw horses. Did you know that? <laughs> you didn't even know that. I don't even know what I got. Uh, but we're about to find out. Let's actually, let's peek in this tool chest. Because okay. this one's coming over there. I'm thinking this one will go right in there. Mm -hmm. I'll bring it on over. Bring it on over. Okay. Live load coming through. we still got another shelf to move. But if I bring this over first... Then we can move the shelf out of the way and then we can bring another one in. Okay. I don't even know what all this is. Oh, look at that. Fuses. I do know what's up there. Fuses, fuses. This looks like all electrical. A little Dremel. Let's see what's in here. Oh my goodness, we needed screwdrivers. <laughs> watch, that bit that we needed. Is in here. I, wa I watch, it's going to be in here. I wouldn't doubt it. Okay. Look at this, man. Oh, man. Oh, brand new wrenches. You are in tool heaven keys. right now. Do you need any keys for anything? As of right now, no, I do not need any keys. Look at this. But for we need them for storage, storage units. units. Yeah. Okay. All right. Wow. We always keep them handy in Ramsey's. Okay. Oh my goodness. Impact drivers. Impact wrenches. Brand new. Look at this. Brand new. Oh man. One. There's three of them. There's three in here. Jeez. The amount of money he spent. On tools alone. Just on tools in the cabinets. And again, I can't keep all of this. You know what this is, right? Some type of uh, it's a groomer. beard comb. It's a beard comb. This is for the man garage. Get comb the beard out. The he know. garage. I did just shave and clean myself up. How did I do? You did excellent. Usually every other three days, somewhere around there. Okay, let's see what else we got. 
Some you, hookies. You used to shave daily, didn't you? Used to, but you don't like that. You, you want you want hair on my face. Well, would you rather go back to shaving daily? It don't make any difference to me. Whatever makes you happy. Here's snap-ons right here. Look at that. There's some money. Tap and die set. We might have to tap and die. You just said it don't make a difference, but this one says there is a difference. Okay, well, that's what you told me. You are like, I don't like you. That's a sign Shaman. right there. You are like, there I like difference. scruff on your face. And I went, okay. I do like the five o'clock shadow look on you. I'll do the five o'clock shadow because it don't make no difference to me. This is for pulling pulleys, automotive work, which we just, we don't do that type of work. I've, Were those matchboxes? Or yes. I've typically done all of my own automotive work, but I just don't have time anymore. And mm -hmm. the reason being YouTube, it's all consuming. Okay, it's over here. Watch, we are gonna, oh, here's the knife collection. Look at that. I forgot about that. Blades, oh. knives. What's up here? We got man, just so much. Old soldering. Some zip ties. Earplugs. Oh, a little bit of gloves, just in case we get a little messy in here. You guide me. I want to be on the edge over there. Okay. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do getting around this other shelf without moving at first. There's a ton of ceramic tile up there and I'm worried about the weight. Maybe what I can do, oh man, we got the chainsaw sharpener in there too. Yeah. Okay, I'm going in right okay. against the edge. Is that it? Go a couple inches, you got a few inches. To get right to the there. edge? Yep. You gotta be kidding me. That doesn't feel right. No, it's because it's not right. I don't know. We're gonna have to move this other shelf to get it just right. This thing's heavy. It's got all our spare tile on the bottom. Yes, shower tiles. Granite tile. I just, I just want to move it. All I want, and I don't Careful. want it to come apart. It Careful you don't, uh, oh, man. you might, you, you might, might lose your power, your pressure washer up there. That's a pressure washer? Isn't that what that is? I thought that was a sandblasting kit, but you know what? Whatever you want it to be, George. What's a spot blaster kit? Um, I think you bl you blast spots with it. Oh. Here we go, the, the halvesies. Trying to get it in place. I thought this one would be perfect over here. And boom, just yes. like that. Okay, it's got a lot of stuff on it from storage units, everything from bolts and cotter pins. Okay, hammers, gotta have hammers. It's hammer time. Uh, chisel time as well. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, and George is breaking. Did you just break my craftsman? No. You did. You grabbed it and you. That's did okay. I? That's all right. Oh, look. Um, it's fixed. They it's were fixed. absolutely 100% brand new when we hauled them, but the hauling process, it was a heavy load. It was a long drive. A lot of it got bents and dents, and I'm okay with that because I'm keeping a vast majority of it. Look at that magnetic for your blades. Okay. We got. Oh! I used this in the very beginning. <laughs> Finally knew I had like more. I have probably 50 of them. I don't even know what's all in here. A lot of this, just a lot of it is coming out. It's gonna go up for sale. Yeah. And then the right tools that I need. Uh oh. George. That entire side did is you locked. Did you lock it? No, it's not all locked. Sheeweek. It's not all locked. Parts of it is. We are gonna order keys. I mean, I could drill it out. Well, just two of the doors are unlocked. I could drill it out, but we have the numbers. So we're just gonna order brand new keys.